Hello, this is Colin Doyle. I'm a senior systems engineer for Juniper Networks. And I promise when I start getting more people watching these, I'll drop the introduction. But for now, you might be seeing this for the first time. What I'm going to show today, real quick video, um, is how you can implement egress traffic shaping on a Juniper device. Uh, it's really, really straightforward. And it effectively will give you the ability to throttle bandwidth on individual ports or a series of ports um, based on your input criteria. It is just super simple. So here I've got my uh, my home internet, um, 54 meg. Let's refresh that so you can see it uh, run up. And uh, I'm going to be implement, you know, turning on this traffic shaping, uh, set it and set for 25 meg, um, on the physical interface that goes to my Google Fi mesh. So we can go see where that is over here. And this is on an old, old EX3200 that I use in my core. Now it's just this connection right here that goes up to my uh, one of my three mesh access points. So it's the easiest test for me to do here. So if you want to do traffic shaping, essentially you get into your device, you go to the class of service part of the configuration, and under interfaces, you define the interface and then a shaping rate. Now there's other ways to stack a shaping rate on top of a scheduler policy using an egress um, policy filter, I think it is, or some, what's it called? Output traffic control profile. Sorry, this is a lot to memorize with costs. Um, but what I've done here is I've uh, simply rolled back a config that I had set up earlier. So all I need to do here is commit to turn this on. So we'll do that. And again, old EX3200, I think is running 14 code. And it, I, this has been supported for ages and it works on router switches, just about everything. So we'll go ahead and uh, refresh. And we'll see this scale up and probably stop a little short of 25 just because there's going to be a little bit of overhead. And there you go, 23 total. And uh, I'll just roll that back real quick. So we roll back one, and if I do a show compare, you'll see that that configuration is coming out. And I can run the commit, and I'll actually start this. And you'll see it throttle. And then I'll hit commit. The test doesn't complete before the commit finishes. Oh, well, it did. Anywho, um, there we go. Done. Hit refresh, and we're uncorked again. That's all there is to it. Uh, pretty useful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Have a great day.